let's look at the map. This shows you a map of the world, which you can zoom in and out on. You can then zoom in to an area that you're interested in. The ones with the blue tick are the ones that I've written. The ones that are black are the ones that I haven't yet written. If I know something by name, so I might want one called lanes. It shows me the options that I've got. Let's have a look at English country lanes in a bit more detail. I'll click on the tab. Zooms in, gives us the overview at the bottom here of what the, what the ride could do and then shows us exactly where the course goes. You can add it to favourites. The moment it is in my favourites, so we've got a choice to toggle that on and off. Or we can go and have a look at the ride details. Yep, looks pretty lumpy. That's what I'm looking for today. We'll go back and try something different. Now that was an example of where I knew exactly what I wanted. Let's do something a bit more generic. Let's say rides in California. The map now takes us to California. And again, we can see the ones that I've ridden and the ones that I haven't. You can see little kind of pockets of them. But what we can do now is we can use filtering to narrow our result down to something that we actually want. So we can say, show me all the rides that are 20 minutes to 50 minutes. It narrows that down. Within that, we could also say, I want you to only show me the ones that I haven't ridden. Narrows it down again, and I could say, I want rides that have at least 200 meters of elevation gain, but at least 400 meters of elevation gain, and it narrows it right down to two. Then again, we can go and check those out. Looks kind of cool. I think I'll ride that one.